everyone. Um, my name is Logan Cooper. I'm uh, the director of quality and lean at Belden's Richmond, Indiana manufacturing location. Hello, everyone. I'm Sylvia Fong from Belden. I'm head of global solutions. We have a team of experts to help our customers accelerate time to value for their digitization journey. Happy to be here. So today, Sylvia and I are going to accomplish a few tasks. First, we want to explain what Belden is, who we are, what we do, uh, for those that don't know the, the company Belden. And we're also going to talk to you about uh, our solution selling and how we've incorporated our solutions into our own internal operations and are seeing great results uh, from that implementation. So who is Belden? Uh, Belden provides networking and data solutions that connect assets to applications. Uh, securely, reliably, and timely. So as we talk about at our booth, it's, it's really from the shop floor to the top floor, getting data into an actionable place from the source of that data. Belden has a very long history. So we just celebrated our 120 years in business. Uh, not many companies in this sector can, can talk about that longevity. Um, and you don't do it by accidents. It's through great products and through innovation and staying up with the times, providing products that, that meet needs. Um, and so that's still a big part of our legacy, but we continue to innovate into the next, the next age. And so as we look at, at the legacy, we still provide the great products, wire and cable products, and now networking and data collection products. Uh, but we're also providing solutions. So we're taking our products that we, we have always had world-class products, we're bundling them together and creating uh, world-class solutions that help solve our customers' problems. So talking a little bit about our operations, so where we produce the wire and cable, produce the products. Um, our Richmond, Indiana plant is a great example where we've implemented a solution that we're going to talk through in more detail. But it's an environment where there's a high mix of products, excessive downtime. The plant itself is nearly 100 years old, so very old infrastructure, uh, a variety of types of equipment from 1960s vintage equipment with no uh, digital connections to state-of-the-art brand new extrusion type equipment and everything in between. And so uh, one of our big issues that we had was getting visibility to our, our real-time performance of those assets uh, and being able to see how we're performing at any given time. From an operations standpoint for Belden, we have about 30 locations uh, across the globe and so it's not just unique to the Richmond, Indiana plant but these same uh, ideas are, are, are found in all of our manufacturing locations across the globe. And so it was a huge opportunity as we looked at digitizing in our Richmond facility um, and the success we had that we'll talk a little bit more detail about. But we saw the huge opportunity to, to expand this globally. So not only do it in one manufacturing plant, but start to expand this to all of our operations. So we can really start to see how every plant is performing and roll up to the, to the top floor uh, where you can have visibility for the, the entire company's performance. So we, when we opened our customer innovation center, Logan reached out to us and he said, hey, why don't we use our own solutions to improve our operational efficiency for our own plants? Where are we being stagnating around 50% and where we wanted to take to the next level. So Logan reached out to us and engaged with our consultants and we helped the plan to start visualize the factory and really be able to see with live information how the production is running. And our solution can be broken down into four different steps. The first one is we wanted to be able to digitize our assets. That means we wanted to connect to the machines, be able to know how the machine is operating, know the vibration of the motors, know the speed of the cabling, uh, the speed of manufacturing, and the throughput of the machine. Be able to visualize how our plants are operating the first step. Now we have some machines that has really good PLC, that can, we can communicate to directly. There are some old machines, like Logan mentioned, from the 1960s. So what do we do? We put sensors on them. We put eyes and ears on those machines, so we'll be able to understand how fast the machine's running, because there's no PLCs on those machines. So there is no require for rip and replace. We connect to the different machines based on what we have. The second step is to create that resilient IT and OT converged network so we can aggregate and bring this data together. And this is also Belden's bread and butter. We are a manufacturing company of cable and, and switches. Now we're putting it together to bring that resilient network capability for our customers. 
and that means we have products that can withstand high heat, extreme temperature, oil mist, the different type of accelerated stressors in the manufacturing environment. And also we have a zero trust network that can help customer protect their production and mission critical applications against cyber threat. So we built those IT and OT converged network and then we're able to provide operations on those data. We understand the data coming in different formats. Some of those machines are running PLC from Rockwell, Siemens, ABB, and they speak different languages. So Belden provide the data interoperability solution that translate the different languages into a common protocol. Now we can pre prepare the data for the analytics as well. So we can contextualize the data at the edge and also be able to pr pr uh, provide some anomaly detection if something's not going perfect. And then we can provision these clean data for applications. These applications can run on the edge or it can run with our cloud partner, AWS, which will show you how we design the solution next. Now this is an overview of our network solution and I will break it down into the different areas and we will cover the different focus of this network solution. You can see that based on this network, we're able to uh, connect. Sorry. Can you hear me well? OK. So you can connect the different assets and sensors and PLCs, either through the IOs or our switches. And we have network access control software to ensure that our industrial network is protected against cyber threat. There may be wired and wireless networks uh, in your different areas. For example, we have a mix of production area running on the wired network and also material handling area with AGVs roaming around, which will need a Wi-Fi solution. So we can converge a different network and the data on those different networks together and bring our customers a single pane of glass. And we can, we can help customers with IT and OT convergence, meaning we have a clear segmentation between our IT, IT network and OT network and safeguard customers' data. At the same time, we provide edge computing that gives customers the flexibility to run different applications. With the edge computing capability, you can have real-time analytics running locally right next to your machine. And eventually, we provision these data to the cloud to do more advanced analytics. Now let's talk about the data solution next. On the data side, we're able to gather this information and now converge these data into a common language. We can describe the different sensors and devices we have. So there are three different categories of sensors that we will talk to. We may have the energy monitoring devices, we may have sensors, secondary sensing options, and also the PLCs. We're able to bring the different type of data together onto our off-edge gateway or through the cloud rail device and bring these data to the, to the cloud. At the same time, we're also performing different data operations on these. We're also having data from the IT database. For example, if you wanted to calculate the overall equipment effectiveness, you will have to understand you know, what is the standard rate of those machines. And that kind of data comes from the ERP system. We're able to also combine the IT data with the OT data at the same time to get those real-time feedback on the production metrics. So here at the edge, we can provide different operations. We are able to bring and converge the different data into a common language. We can do local contextualization, meaning create uh, combining IT and OT information together, and also set up the asset model. So you will know if you have a value of 30 degrees, what does that mean? It comes from the sensor on this production line and what's a, what's a normal threshold look like? What is that operating range? What does good look like? And then we will be able to provide customers that anomaly detection. If it's outside of the range, we'll be able to raise alarm or send an alert to the operators. At the same time, we'll have more sophisticated, based on machine learning or AI um, intelligence. We can train those models in the cloud so we will provision these data to AWS and have AI and ML and be able to predict when the machine is going to go down. And we can deploy that model locally at the edge to give our 
um, operators the, 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 great, the latest and greatest information to optimize their operations. So here is an architecture about the predictive maintenance solution that we're able to co-create with our partner AWS. As you can see that we do some local analytics for a combination of our customers' machine data, production data, as well as the network data. So we're combining the network insights together with operational insights and really give customers that simplified single pane of glass with all the different things that are related to production availability. At the same time, we're using IoT SiteWise and IOT, uh, AWS S3 to pipeline these data into the data lake and using the SageMaker to be able to utilize the AI and ML capability for model training and be able to predict failures accurately. We're also working with other partners like Matterport as well as uh, Grafana to be able to visualize and create those OE dashboard, different type of visualization of the workflow, and also create that digital twin and, and be able to have a uh, live view of our factory. So with that, I'm going to invite you. Logan and I will take you to the plant and have a walkthrough of the plant and see what it looks like and some view of the network and data solution. Belden employed digital automation consultants because we wanted to be close to our customers and really understand customers' challenges so that we can deliver outcomes and deliver data ingestion solutions that would benefit customers in the KPIs they care about. They are experts in factory automations, they are experts in mass transit, for example. We cover different verticals and they understand customers' challenges and operations very well and they can help guide customers in their digital transformation journey. We always start from the very top level. What is the strategic goals we're trying to drive? Understanding those most important things that customer wanted to improve, then we can bring those questions onto the shop floor to ensure that we have a comprehensive view of the plant operation to advise customer on their digital roadmap, their maturity level, and what is the top recommendation for customers to improve their efficiency and drive their KPIs. So as a plant operations team, we knew that we needed a more automated approach to understanding our equipment and our operations of the factory. We reached out to the Belden CIC team to find a solution that could help improve our operations and understanding our operations. The solution the CIC team has brought is, is vendor neutral. We have a lot of old equipment they didn't come in and say, well, you need to upgrade all this equipment because we can't connect to it. We had a good team meeting, we discussed it, and they brought some devices to us, we shared some devices we've used, and it didn't matter what type of devices or who they were coming from, we were able to tie those into the system and utilize that to get the data we need. Having to adapt and build our network solution design and our overall solution design to still coexist with this legacy technology and legacy protocols has really been a great experience and something that's a lesson that we will take with us not only here at our internal projects but with third party and customer projects uh, all over the world. The biggest thing that I noticed with the CIC team is the hands-on approach, really seeing the system and understanding the operation and really digging into the details, not just looking at surface level, but getting into the equipment, understanding all of the electronic controls of the equipment, understanding the network. We anticipate double-digit productivity improvements as a result of this, uh, of this endeavor. But I think the bigger one is, is us better understanding our operations and, and having a, a more intelligent discussion about how things operate on the floor. Okay, so I um, want to share a little bit about the results of the, the project that we did implement. So we have now uh, completed this digitization in, in a big portion of the Richmond facility. We've also expanded it to another uh, about five different locations across the globe that are all going under the same digitization. So the, the concept that we did in Richmond is just a copy and paste exercise through the rest of our, our operations. And we're seeing on average about $575,000 of annual productivity improvement in each location. Uh, roughly eight percentage points of OEE. In Richmond specifically, it was uh, about 10 percentage points, so from 45% OEE to 55% as a result of the insights we were getting from this, this new information we were collecting. 
from a payback perspective, just over one year of payback from the investment of all of the, uh, the capital required to, to create the networks and develop the dashboards, uh, less than a year in, in some cases. Uh, just talking about Belden in general and where we're, we see the, the industry going. So current state, there's roughly 25 billion nodes or sources of data in the industry. And in the next three to five years, they expect that to grow to over uh, a trillion nodes. And so it's a huge amount of data that needs to be collected. And to really get the meaningful insights out of that data, you need a robust network and a robust system of collecting and analyzing that data so you can make decisions on it. The other big aspect is that there are, is $520 trillion of assets globally from a, a manufacturing and, and, and company standpoint, six times the GDP. This type of initiative of understanding and improving performance helps you better utilize all those assets. So instead of having to go out and purchase new equipment or build a new facility, like Richmond was able to do, we can take a 100-year-old facility, improve the existing assets we have, and increase our overall capacity significantly. So that's the solution that, uh, that we're hoping to provide as Belden. We're hoping that we can amplify the small impact that we're able to generate and saw in our own plan to the bigger scale. Hopefully that we can inspire some of us in the audience to take actions and drive that efficiency level to ensure our plants run more efficiently and more sustainably as well. We also have a booth right next door where you will be able to see a, a smaller scale of that network and data solution using the Belden Horizon platform to streamline some of the data. And we hope that we can be your partner in the digitization journey and make that process as simple and uh, smooth and frictionless as possible. Thank you for your time.